all right hopefully you guys can see this video but uh today i'm going to be working on uh atlantis by merits it's a heavy duty power chair and um when you first receive the power chair it's going to come in pieces uh you're going to have your captain seat which is right there and then there's the base of the chair and i'll do another video on how to install the batteries and make adjustments on this here in a minute uh but it's pretty pretty basic you are going to come it is going to come with your um, hardware which is going to be that right there and then you're also going to have these right here those are your mounting uh hardware that you're going to have to install on the captain seat before you place it on top of those two bars those two rigid bars right there so let me go ahead and let's do a, a quick installation on this uh, so the easiest way that I found to do it is you get your captain seat. I have cardboard underneath so it doesn't get scratched up. And I'm going to lower the seat completely down the back. Just like that. And then just kind of bring it on its back right there. And I already marked it. That way you guys can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. But you're going to have one, two, three, four, and then five hole. One, two, three, four, five hole. So the brackets that are going to go in the front are going to be your mounting brackets, which are these right here. Uh, they're going to be facing forward because this hooks to the bar just like that. Um, so these are going to be facing where the lip is at. Hopefully you guys can see that. Here's that lip that's going to be facing forward. And you're going to put it on the one, two. You're going to put it on two, three, on the three and four hole. Okay. And then you're going to have this open hole on the bottom. So they're going to go just like that okay so one two open and then three and four is where you're going to mount them so for this one you're going to use a t-handle and i believe this is a six millimeter so all you're going to do is place that underneath there you are going to get some hex bolts you attach the first one now you don't want to make it too tight just tight enough to where it's still going to move around to have some place so you can put the other bolt in there and then you're going to do the same thing with this one get the next one not too tight once you have all four down then you could go ahead and make sure you tighten these down pretty good that way they don't move around because remember this is a heavy duty power chair so you are going to have a a client that's going to be heavy um so you need to make you need to make sure you make these tight. Now you don't want to make them too tight to where you strip the threads. So that should probably be good. Now the next thing you're gonna mount is gonna be the other hardware that sits in the back. Now this little black prong right there is gonna sit right there. Whenever you mount this in the back and over you set the the seat on top of the the two rigid bars now these you're going to mount on your second and third hole so there's one two three one two three you're going to mount these on the second and third you are going to have some uh, washers on these and again you're going to use your six millimeter t-handle and again you're just going to put it in not, not too tight We'll do all four. Make sure you put that washer in there. These Atlantis are pretty good. They're, they used to have the, and I think you still can get the pneumatic tire, um, but it was a pain. That one's missing the washer, I don't know. Oh, there it is. I almost put it without the thing. Washer. You wanna make sure the washers are in there. Again, you wanna make these nice and tight not too tight to where you're gonna strip that's good anyways uh hd atlanta is pretty good they used to have the they still do have pneumatic but the patient would get flats every time because they would go through rough terrain and stuff and they would pop the tire but it does have i guess a smoother drive because it would kind of float with the patient now this knob right here 
you could add a basket to it if you want to you just take that off and then put a basket on there now these right here are going to be your depth adjustments you have one two three now you can only go back so far i believe you can only go back one and that's that's if the patient you know doesn't fit in the in the captaincy correctly you can always adjust the depth you loose you take these screws off and then bring the seat back and he's going to have more room but anyway so that's how you mount the the brackets the hardware into this atlantic seat to mount on top and uh to mount it it's pretty easy i mean uh you just put the front forward first and then put the back and i'll do a video on that here in a minute too that way you guys can see that but hopefully this helps right here on how to mount these brackets the hardware into your uh, power chair. All right, guys, have a good one, man.